A new cable from China is set to challenge everything we thought we knew about speed, power and the future of device connections. Welcome to the battle of the cables. GBMI versus Thunderbolt, HDMI and USB-C. Today's episode of Perspectives brings us into the heart of an emerging tech battle. One that challenges Western dominance in cable connectivity. Enter GPMI or the General Purpose Media Interface, a revolutionary new cable standard from China that promises to transform the way we connect devices. As the battle for next-gen tech standards heats up, China's new GPMI could leave familiar players like HDMI, USB-C and Thunderbolt in the dust. Let's dive into what makes GPMI a game changer and explore its potential impact on the global attack landscape. GPMI is not just a cable, it's a bold move by China to stake its claim in the global tech standards arena. Developed by an alliance of over 50 Chinese tech companies including big names like Huawei, Hisense, TCL and Skyworth, the general purpose media interface was designed to handle the demands of ultra high definition content like 8K video while simultaneously delivering high voltage power. The Shenzhen 8K UHD Video Industry Corporation Alliance, which spearheaded this initiative, first set the wheels in motion back in 2019, and since then the tech has been progressing rapidly. After years of innovation, the standard officially debuted in early 2025, marking a new chapter in how devices could connect to each other. But what does GBMI actually offer, and how does it stack up against the likes of Thunderbolt, HDMI, and USB-C? Well, GBMI comes in two primary versions. First, the GBMI Type-C variant, which utilizes the familiar USB-C port. This version delivers 96 Gbps bandwidth, more than double the speed of Thunderbolt 4, and supports up to 240 watts of power delivery, which is on power with USB 4. But the real headline grabber is the GBMI Type B connector with an eye popping 192 Gbps bandwidth and 480 watts of power delivery. This version outpaces any current Western standard. For comparison, HDMI 2.1 tops out at 48 Gbps and lacks power delivery, while Display Port 2.1 hits 80 Gbps. Thunderbolt 4 supports only 40 Gbps and 100 watts. And even the latest Thunderbolt 5, which was launched in 2024 still lags behind with a maximum of 80 Gbps. What is even more impressive is that GPMI Type-C retains backward compatibility with USB-C devices, giving it a potential pathway to widespread adoption without completely overhauling the existing ecosystem. GPMI isn't just faster, it also simplifies the user experience. One of its standout features is the ability to combine high-speed data, power delivery and multimedia signals into a single cable, drastically reducing cable clutter. For example, gamers and streamers could connect their laptops to an 8K display using just one cable for both power and video, eliminating the need for separate power adapters and display cables. GPMI supports features like daisy chaining, enabling multiple devices to be connected in series via a single cable, perfect for multi-device setups such as home entertainment systems or outdoor video walls. Additionally, GPMI includes a unified control protocol similar to HDMI CEC, allowing users to control connected devices like set-top boxes or smart TVs with a single remote, streamlining the entire setup. With HDMI 2.1 versus GPMI, DisplayPort 2.1 versus GPMI, and Thunderbolt 4 versus GPMI, despite the challenges, GPMI's potential is undeniable with its ability to support 8K resolution and provide high power delivery for devices like gaming laptops. It's a technology that's future proof for the next generation of media and computing. If GPMI Type C can become a seamless part of the USB C ecosystem, it may have a smoother path to global adoption. The real question is whether the proprietary aspects of GBMI like the Type B connector will hinder its progress in markets outside China as we've seen with Apple's Lightning Cable proprietary connectors can both a strength and a weakness. Only time will tell whether GBMI will become a global standard or remain confined to China. But one thing's for certain, the world of connectivity is about to get a lot more interesting. That's it for today's deep dive into GPMI. We're witnessing a significant shift in the connectivity space with China positioning itself as a serious contender to reshape global tech standards. Whether or not GPMI will take the world by storm remains to be seen, but its potential is something tech enthusiasts 
enthusiasts and industry professionals alike should keep a close eye on. As always, stay tuned to the mainstream for more insights into the cutting-edge technologies that are shaping our future. This is Pooja Nautial signing off.